Hey guys, what is going on? Nick here with GearNut, and today I wanted to kind of talk about everyday carry. What is everyday carry? That's just stuff that you have on your pockets. Most people's everyday carry is their phone, which is over here being a monitor, your phone, your wallet, and your keys. You know, you're going to have to have something to call and contact and get called into work. You're going to have to have a way to pay and have your IDs on you, and you're going to have to have a way to drive your car if you have a car or get into your house. So those are the three bases that every person usually has. So if somebody come up and said, hey, Nick, gear nut, what can I do to improve my everyday carry? Well, I would suggest a pocket knife and a flashlight because you can't always count on your cell phone for the flashlight aspect. Sure, there's waterproof cell phones out there, but I don't have one. There's waterproof cases out there, but they do muffle the sound. They do make your audio horrible. <laughs> so had a life proof, I've had three life proof cases on my iPhone when I had an iPhone. And I sound like I was talking through a, a tin can muffled where I had like a, something covering over my face and my mouth, especially after all the pocket lint got onto the little screen vent covers that were down there. So that is why I say you should have a flashlight and the flashlight I would choose to recommend to most new people is the mini mag solitaire so and this is the LED one um, I believe this is like nine or ten dollars at Walmart and it is one of the slimmest sleekest flashlights and it's pretty bright because of the LED aspect of it but it also runs on triple a batteries I have a rechargeable Rayovac you know this is like an uh, economy friendly or a budget friendly EDC upgrade you know so but anyhow this little flashlight is a champion you know I've had several of these and I will not frown upon anybody carrying one of these they're a really decent flashlight sure there's more expensive and better ones there's probably something that's even better than this but this is widely available almost anywhere so that's one of the reasons why I chose this it's just a nice little flashlight to get started with to see if it's something that you are going to continue to do and if it fits your lifestyle. So, nine or ten bucks. Then the other thing would be a Victorinox Swiss Army knife. Preferably a th very thin one with a full size blade. The full size, size blade is one of those stipulations because sometimes you need to cut some fruit open or something like that. And those really small keychain ones just don't cut it sometimes. So this is the Victorinox Cadet Alox version. So it's really skinny. The only two things you're really going to miss is going to be the toothpick and the tweezers. I really wish they could find a way to put that on here. But that's going to add thickness. And we don't want thickness for people that are just getting into it. So, But for this, it's a slip joint pocket knife. So it's going to be a little more user friendly or environmental friendly so if you whip this out and cut a box open it's not going to be like having a tactical big old knife you just did you know it's gonna offend a lot less people and that's something you need to think about because not everybody can win a fist fight so but anyhow so this is a can opener it's got a screwdriver on it on the tip and we got a bottle opener so you can hang out and drink beer with your friends and we got a wire stripper down here and a big old screwdriver so not only do you get a knife but you get those other aspects and this is another little thing that I find myself reaching and using all the time not so much the fingernail file but digging things out from underneath my fingernails out here in the shop and then also using this as a Phillips screwdriver <laughs> so you can actually use it as a Phillips screwdriver works out really well so that is one of the reasons um, but what really sold me on this knife in particular was it was like thirty dollars thirty five dollars sometimes you can get them on eBay even cheaper than that you know you might have to clean them up a little bit but the Victorinox quality for the money was really really one of the main things and then the other one was it's skinnier and thinner than most of your smartphones so if you throw this in your pocket or on your keychain, both of these are very skinny. They're very small. They're very 
user, I guess, friendly, you know? They're pocket friendly, we should call it that. So, but anyhow, I thought that these would be the two items I would recommend. Um, not everybody is going to carry a, a Leatherman, a big old Leatherman in their pocket, you know? This thing is a, it's a toolbox. It's a, it's a tool chest in your pocket, but not everybody can put that in their pocket. So, but anyhow, these are the two items I would have chosen. If you have two items you would have chosen that are not something like this, let me know in the comment section below. I'd, lo I'd love to hear why you chose that. You know, take it for granted that you do have a cell phone, a wallet, and keys already. Um, I'm not a smoker. So I didn't choose a lighter for that reason. It is a nice way to have fire, but it's also nice to be able to have light when it gets dark in the wintertime and to be able to open those packages that you do get around Christmas time. So something to think about. But anyhow, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get razzed a little bit, but hey, nothing. In, well, it's going to build character, I guess. Nothing's going to hurt you, but it's going to build some character. So... That's what I got. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoy videos like these, let me know, and I will try to come up with some more. That's what I got, and I'll check you later.